Hello everyone, welcome once again to I've Been Playing, where today we're talking about The Council. The Council is an episodic, alternate history game reminiscent of Telltale, although for reasons that I'll get into shortly, it reminds me a little bit more of the Sherlock Holmes games. You play as Louis de Richet, son of Sarah de Richet, and after the initial prologue bit, you are going to a mysterious secret island owned by one Lord Mortimer in order to get your mother back because she has gone to this island to investigate something and has not been seen or heard from in a while. And of course, the story does go places from there, but that is the initial setup for you being on this island. And on this island, you end up meeting everyone who has gathered for the titular council at Lord Mortimer's request. And like I said, there are several historical figures there. The most identifiable for me specifically were George Washington and Napoleon. And I don't remember the specific year this is set in, but it's 1790s, so it's pre-Napoleon being Napoleon, I guess. Now, those are the basics of the story. As I said, it goes some places, some weird places. Later in the game, there are five episodes total, each divided into, I think, three chapters. I think the first one has four chapters and a prologue, so the first one is definitely the longest. And then you have three sections per chapter or chapters per chapter after that. Obviously, there are dialogue options and parts of the game where you can choose to go with one character or choose to go with another, and it does branch the story a bit and close off certain options to you. That is the way it is most reminiscent of Telltale, or almost to me a little bit like Until Dawn and those, those games. The reason I say it reminds me a lot of Sherlock Holmes games, or even the most recent Call of Cthulhu game that came out in, I think, 2018, is that you have skills you can upgrade and you will be upgrading them over the course of the game and you also can level up, which is how you get points to spend on those skills, but you have skills in three main areas and then offshoots of those areas. So the only one I remember because you pick kind of a quote unquote class at the very beginning is that one of them is occultism because that's the one I picked. I think one of them is detective and one of them is potentially politician, although I feel like politics is an offshoot of whatever that one is. But you have three classes that you can pick at the beginning and it doesn't really alter the gameplay that much. What it does is it makes the skills in that skill tree cheaper, but you can get skills in all of the areas and you are going to want to get to skills in all of the areas because as with many things, they allow you to not only unlock dialogue options, but observe and interact and do things with items in the environment and puzzles sometimes that will be beneficial down the road. So yes, there are puzzles in this game. A lot of them have to do with mythology and specifically, especially after a certain point, the Bible and biblical lore. And after a certain point, it feels like all or at least most of them are based off of this, which kind of leads me to a bit of an issue in that technically all of the clues for these specifically, there's one that's about like Medusa and the Gorgons and stuff, and that's not too bad. It's still a little technically niche and very Western focused, as is the whole game, but it doesn't necessarily imply in-depth knowledge of that specific myth. For the Bible stuff, there's at least one puzzle. No, there are a couple of puzzles actually that ask you to look at specific passages or know specific passages or understand specific clues based off specific passages that if you don't have a fairly decent knowledge of the Bible, it's gonna be confusing, it's gonna be complicated. Like I said, technically all of the clues are there, but it just feels like it's way too hyper-focused, way too specific, and way too assuming you know you have an in-depth knowledge of these things, which it shouldn't be assuming because they're not easy. They're not easy. I don't know that they're as hard as they could be, but they're definitely not something I, who knows basically nothing about the Bible, was good at or comfortable with. And especially one, I think in chapter three or four, that's it's fairly late game and opens an important area and important stuff. It's a big part of that chapter. I don't even remember there being Bible verses to look at. There probably were, but I ended up looking up the solutions. How am I supposed to know? Generally though, the gameplay is pretty decent. It's not the best looking or running game I've ever played and some of the character models are terrifying, but it's not horrible. It's a good location. It's a pretty location. The story is very interesting, if a little bit weird, especially towards the end, but there is a fairly wide 
range of options, and it does seem like your options in this one actually affect things pretty significantly. I could be wrong, I only played through it the once, and you still have your save data so you can go back and choose dialogue options you didn't before, I think, at least in theory. There's a little replayability if you're interested enough to do that. My problem was that I enjoyed the game, it was a decent episodic adventure with a decent at least interesting story, but I didn't feel compelled to go back and see how the choices changed the story or how I could impact the ending by choosing the different ending, because there's at least two endings, as there usually are. But I just didn't feel compelled to even bother to try. I was thinking about it for a while, but by the time I got to the end of the game, I didn't think it was worth it. So overall, a decent episodic game, but not one that you'll probably find yourself returning to, and it might be a little easier to fall off of than other ones, just because of the weirdness factor to some extent, but the puzzles as well might be a bit off-putting. But those are my thoughts on the council. Have you heard of or played this game? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you have any other thoughts or, you know, are you gonna try it out? Do you like episodic games? Let me know down in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I do one of these every Monday, a whole bunch of other stuff on my channel. You can check it out. I will see you next time.